Ami Anyong, I'm back with another unboxing of In The Soup 2 Smudge, which is from the second release of products and also the freebies from the series subscription. I'll leave a link in my description if you'd like to check out the earlier merch from the same season, also featuring the My Universe single as well. So let's start with the general special gifts. This was sent to those who paid for In The Soup 2 subscription. We have here the group photo card and this is made in a thicker PVC material with a matte finish. I like how solid this one is. It's obviously more expensive to produce but would last a lot longer than the standard photo card. Now moving on to the photo card set. There's a total of 7 cards, one for each member. I'm a huge fan of Bon Voyage and In The Soup and I love that the photo cards have them in a more relaxed um, setting. It's always nice to see the members doing their own thing and not having to fuss with their hair, makeup and overall appearance. In The Soup is so much fun to watch and Different from Run because activities aren't planned so much and I absolutely love watching them cook and enjoy their own meals. The whole series is just wholesome and depending on how the world progresses with COVID this year, we may or may not get another season of this, so the second one has got a special place in my heart. The transparent photo card set is the early bird gift for those who signed up earlier during the pre-order period. I don't currently have any photo cards like this, so this will be the first of its kind in my collection. The material is thicker and hmm, I quite like it. I guess depending on the colour of your binder sleeve, it can create a nice background for the transparent photo cards. I feel like some of these shots were taken during their interview scenes. Yeah, looks like all of them are. Tay and look how relaxed JK is. I'm hoping I get at least one picture of Bum in today's merch, so let's see. Now on to the merch. Majority of the In The Soup 2 merch was in the first drop, so I only picked up a few more items in round 2, one of which is this postcard set. I love the graphics for this season. You'll see the cushion covers and blanket in my first video as well. So here we have the postcards. Oh, um, looks like it's come apart at the spine. Yeah, I think the adhesive isn't strong enough to hold the weight of the postcards. But in any case, I do have plans to display this individually, so it's okay that it's detached from the cover. I basically wanted this because of how casual the shots are. There are two per member, and just look at how genuinely happy they are. Our hobbies is portrait mode, okay. Tay really had fun this season. Oh, and JK's got a portrait shot too. So yeah, postcards that I would never use to send in the mail and even if I did, I'll put them in an envelope first for protection. 
On the other side, you get the members' names up on the right. Next is the fabric poster. To be really honest, I don't have a place to hang this up right now, so I wasn't sure if I should get it, but the image they've chosen is too good to pass. And it comes with a postcard that can go into my binder, or there's also the option to put it in a photo frame. There's Soupy, the mascot for this season. I love this shot so much. There's Din in his ever so bright LV shirt to Tung giving us all permission to just be comfortable in the simplicity of t-shirt, shorts and slippers. And against the beautiful blue and green background, let's have a look at the fabric version. Ooh, so good. There's just something about this picture that completely brightens the day. So I might think about where I can actually best put this in my studio. Last but not least is the acrylic frame. And I picked this up mainly for the photos that came with. Um, I'll show you why in a second. So the frame itself is pretty cute and I don't mind the design at all, but I could do without it anyway and put the photos in my own frames. Ah, looks like we've got a few pieces to put together here. We've got the little trees, the stand, the backing and the photos. And I see Bami. There he is. Ah, such a nice group photo. I'm glad they included Bam in this. Ah yes, I really wanted this shot of them eating. The family meal was so good and I can't tell you how hungry I was watching them prepare their meals. And this was the finale, a very special night indeed. I felt like In The Soup 2 was too short and wish they could have spent at least another couple of days there but I'm grateful that they could take time out, even just for a bit. Alright, let's put together the acrylic frame. We've got the trees and guitar. I'm just going to remove the protective layer on this. Is that it? Hmm, doesn't seem to fit. Ah, there's these bits still in there. I can see some air bubbles on the backing, so there should be a protective film on this too. But I can't seem to find it. Oh no, it's not fitting in. Strange, it shouldn't be this hard. Oh gosh, I hope this isn't a faulty frame. Well, I got the front to fit but it doesn't feel like it's secured well. So we'll see. The back's on as well. Now for the trees. Gosh, it's really hard to get in. Now, only one tree will fit. So here's how the pictures look with the frame. I think it's nice that they are positioned in a way where the trees add to the look and not take away from the photos. 
none of the members are blocked by the trees but I don't know okay guys so silly me I took another look at the tree that barely fit and noticed there was this layer of thick plastic over it and the thinner layer on the back so oh my goodness it slides in perfectly now I had no idea the protective layer was so thick and not very visible as well so I didn't want to peel off a layer that looked like a part of the acrylic piece. See how it's quite difficult to get off and looks like you're removing a chunk of the piece? So the good news is my frame isn't faulty which I was really surprised if it was because Weavers makes pretty good quality products and I haven't had an issue so far. But yeah, note to self, there should always be a protective layer on acrylic pieces, even if it doesn't look like there is. Look how thick that is. And that's how it should look in the end. Yes, I have all my trees standing. Now with the back, I'm convinced there has to be a layer of film as well. There you go. And is there one more here? This will be the thicker side. Get it off, yes. And perfect. And now we get to see how it looks with the photo in. Excellent. So thank you for joining me in this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed and feel free to subscribe to see more ARMY content and other videos that I put out as well. Annyeong! Thank you.